Today I want to explore with you a plant watering system I'm planning to build or I'm in the middle of the build uh, because you may also know the situation you're going to vacation, come back and uh, your plants are dead. But I really appreciate my plants and I want to keep them alive, uh, especially my bonsais and they are quite sensitive for the dry out or drying out and uh, relying on people who watering the plants is often not the best idea and that's why I want to build myself a plant watering system and to yeah to measure the, the soil moisture and water it accordingly. Let's grab a coffee and dive right into it. So I got most of the parts already, uh, unfortunately AliExpress messed up and I don't have the pumps yet, but I want to get started already with the front end and the hardware uh, as much as I can. That's why um, I will tell you how today what hardware I have, how far I got with the software and uh, what's planned for the next videos. I will use the ESP C3 Mini. It's a very tiny ESP and I really appreciate it because it's so slim. Then the second part is the moisture sensor. So it's a capacitive uh, soil moisture sensor. There are tons of videos out there how to use them. Uh, there are also these old ones, these uh, these two leg ones, but uh, they basically are broken after a few days. That's why I uh, use the capacitive ones. Um, yeah, I will link down a video of a guy who tested them all and they are very good uh, to use and very reliable. So I ordered six of them to get started with the measurements. One question I heard was like, why build it yourself and not use a reliable system online? Because there are quite a few um, already good to use websites that have um, the integration to the ESP and the moisture sensor and so on. Um, but to be honest, I want to have it like completely open source, fully fledged. Uh, you can host it yourself. You can host it on Versal. You can, can use the existing one. Um, it's login with Auth0 and Google. Yeah, I, I just wanted to build it myself and also to add features if I want to have them and uh, make it open source so everyone can um, contribute if they'd like. Then I also got myself uh, a little solar panel. It was like seven euros, six euros, I, something like this. It's uh, flexible, it has a USB output. This I will use to charge my battery. For the battery I have these uh, 18,000 whatsoever batteries, these very standard common batteries, a charging board and a step up module to step up to five volts for the pumps. Also for the pumps I got myself a few capacitors as well as some resistors. Uh, let's check out the front end and see how far I got so far or how far I am at the moment. First of all the database looks like this. So we have the user with the name, email and when it was created it will automatically generate you a token. This token is basically the unique identifier you need to um, yeah, use the API. Then you can create a plant. This plant will have some parameters like how much water it should get, um, what's the desired capacity, the desired uh, humidity, stuff like that. And then you have the plant values, basically the readings of the plants. Yeah, this is basically the database, super simple. And how does the website look? So this is my plant watering system. And if I open it up, we will see I'm already logged in. I have already two plants. Let's delete them. Um, delete. So I have no plant yet and I have my token. So this one I will copy over to the ESP code. Then I will add a new plant, give it a name like bonsai, uh, the target humidity. I don't know. I, I need to figure this out. Let's say 30%. It should maximum water the plant 100 milliliter per round and per day it should be maximum 500 milliliters. So I will save it. It is saved and if I go to my dashboard I see I have now the bonsai. It has no values in it. It was not updated yet and that's it. And also I have my token here. So this is the, the plant token and if I copy it now over into my C++ code um, we see here I have the plant URL, so this is the base URL, this is the ID, so this is my ID, and then you have the plant ID. So if we 
create the update. So this is now the new plant ID. It will read the sensor data. So if you see it here, you have the values. There will be some graphs in the future, I hope, or here as well, some little graphs. And this is like the, the first state of the whole application. So on the other side, we have the ESP code. I copied over already the plant ID. Um, I set the dry value and the wet value. So these two values are the readings of the capacitor. I put it in a glass of water to read the wet value and read the dry value. And yeah, I will just go over it every minute, read the value, send it to the API. And the send part is also very simple. You just create a JSON object with the humidity, the last watering, and it will be sent over. The whole reading and watering part is not included yet. Okay, now I updated the ESP code with the updated token. And if we now check the monitoring, we should see at least connected and it has 0%. So it sent it the value. And if we now reload the application, we see it has an update less than a minute ago, but it has not watered and has no humidity. So if I put it now into the water, okay, the update was sent in the water 100% and we see we have now the bonsai humidity of 100%. This is the first step. I know the humidity of my plant. It is shown on the front end. I can connect it. Uh, I see it in the database and I can charge the battery. I can put it outside. For the next video, I will have the case ready. I will have the pumps and also the logic for the pumping. So all in all, uh, it feels like it can work quite well. Uh, the hardware is there. I paid like in total, I don't know, I think 40 euros for the whole system or something like this, 40, 50 euros uh, for everything. Um, the code is in Next.js, it is open source. So from the logic here perspective, I have just my landing page where I see all my plants. I can add a new plant, I can copy my token and I can like open the plant and copy the token of the plant. So very simple. Uh, next step as said should be some graphs. I will add them in the future. For the code side I use Next.js, uh, Postgres on the Versal and uh, it is hosted on Versal because it's super easy to just host it there. Um, the Postgres is also added like very fast and it's for free. For the database part, I use Kaisley. Uh, for the login, I use Auth0 because it is very simple to integrate. You just need the Auth0 route and do like handle route. That's it. Everything else is handled from them. Yeah, and that's basically it. The endpoint is just the API ID. This is the ID of your account. And then inside you just have the uh, plant API where you just have the get for the get a plant uh, content. This is like added in the next step uh, to get the desired parameters, the put for update or adding new values into the database. And that's, that's it. So very simple at the moment. Um, and look forward to part two where we add the pumps and the rest of the logic. Uh, also let me know if you want to have something different or if what you like to add. I did like a little poll. Most of you wanted just the plain watering. If you have any requests or any ideas what libraries I should check out to add, please let me know down in the comments if you have any requests what we need to add or if you want to contribute, happy to. Uh, I will link the GitHub repository down in the comments. I will let you know as soon as I know when uh, the update will happen. Uh, if you have any interest in contributing, happy to integrate it into the project if you have any ideas what to do better. Also looking forward to it. If you have any interest being part of it or any requests, let me know down in the comments. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I, I'm very happy about so many subscribers, so many people watching me. This is a very, uh, very much appreciated and I hope this will continue and yeah, you will join me on my journey uh, on the plant watering. Also, stay tuned, there will be a new Keychron keyboard coming soon that I got from them. That will be the probably next video. Other than that, uh, I wish you a great rest of the day, great evening and see you next time. Uh, thank you for watching.